Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of Comics and Stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, happy Friday everybody. I'm looking forward to the Hawks game. Hope you guys are too as well. Um, I got a cool video for you guys. I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I got this ugh, box from CGC. Came in today. Uh, I wasn't actually expecting this until like mid-September, so I'm pretty excited. And I just wanted to open it up for everybody. Um, I think it's only like four books, but I figured, you know, why the heck not. So, um, that's really it. Uh... Two seconds here. I think a couple of these are going to be going on my eBay store, and some of them are just for my personal collection. I don't actually honestly remember. Um, I'm sorry, that's probably kind of loud. But in any case, pictures will be in the corner because I know that you guys aren't going to be able to see everything. Um, okay, we got bubble wrap. This is going to and and this is going to be a little messy. Good, 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 good. And for those of you guys who really enjoyed last week's video, uh, a brief history uh, of DC Comics, don't worry, fret not. Uh, another video about Marvel Comics will be coming up later, hopefully next week or so. Um, and then if you continue to tune in, you guys will be seeing upcoming videos of ugh, Rose City Comic Con down in Portland. I'll be attending that with uh, all my guys from my D&D group, and then my lovely girlfriend will be tagging along as well. So make sure you guys tune in and follow up with that. It's going to be cool. It's probably not going to be as awesome as last year's video. If you guys haven't seen last year's video, please watch it. It's hilarious. And without further ado, let's do these books. So let's see here. All of these are face down. I have not seen them yet, so this will be just as much of a surprise to me as it is to you guys. So the first book is my New Mutants 26. So that's the first appearance of um, Legion. That was for Legion from the new FX uh, Mutant series. Um, this is actually one of the books that I talked to you guys about in my uh, Books to Invest in 2017 video. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out in the Comic Sense playlist. Um, but uh, yeah, Legion is one of the main characters of the new show, Legion, and he is the son of, um, I think it's Professor Xavier, or Professor X. Uh, in any case, I, I'm actually, honestly, you guys know me, I'm not a huge Marvel guy, but uh, I figured that this would be a cool book to invest in. Uh, this probably will be going on the eBay store. 8.5, though, not bad. Chris Claremont's story. Um, I do like the cover a lot. I like the idea of, like, the, the broken mind sort of deal. So that's cool. Second book coming up is X-Men Gold number one. And I'm sure you guys remember the X-Men Gold controversy that uh, we all talked about. So this is my X-Men Gold number one. Um, this for sure is uh, just kind of like a collector's item just because it has so much controversy. Um, and I thought it was an interesting book. And I know that it's uh, gained some level of collectability just because of the recall. So interesting, nine six, so pretty decent condition. I was hoping for a nine eight on that, but I'm not picky. And the next book is Wonder Woman 72. So this is a classic Brian Boland cover. Um, yeah, 93, same year I was born. Actually, it's about two months older than I am, so that's neat. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the airplane and the siren. My, my window is open. It's really hot today. Um, but love this cover. I know that they made a matching statue as well that you can get with the, uh, you know, to put with the book, uh, which retails for like 60 bucks. But this is a really cool cover. Um, and... I'm not sure if I'm going to list that one or not. I also, my, my tattoo artist is a huge Wonder Woman fan, and sometimes she gives me hefty discounts on tattoos um, for cool Wonder Woman stuff. So maybe we'll see what I do with that. 9-2, not a bad, not a bad grade. And this is probably the one I was thinking of. Let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. We have my Saga number three, 7.0. So this is going in my Saga collection. Um, I, I'm sure if you guys follow me on Instagram, I actually have a lot of my Saga books um, up there. I'm trying to collect a full run of Saga all graded and every single Saga book that you see that I have graded is my original Saga ex with the exception of the Diamond Retailer Summit variant um, because you have to be a Diamond Retailer uh, you know person to be there um, and then the uh, Saga number one first print that's signed by both Fiona Staples and Brian K. Vaughn. I've never met Brian K. Vaughn, only Fiona Staples. Um, and then the retailer incentive variant for the number one issue. There's was only 500 printed. So those, besides those three books, every saga that you see is mine. So this saga number three is my original one from 2012. Um, great cover. I remember, yeah, I got a couple smudges on here. It came out as a 7.0, which was to be expected. Most of the earlier ones are coming back in, um, you know, 7.0 to 8.5 condition. So cool books. 
Um, I'm waiting on one, two more from CGC, so hopefully I'll get them back, but they're probably not going to be uh, on unboxing video or blah, 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 on unboxing videos. Um, they're probably just going to be posted straight to the Instagram, so make sure you guys follow me on there. But that's really it for this episode, you guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we'll see you next week, and uh, make sure you like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And until then, go Hawks. Thanks, guys. See you next week.